Hello, my favorite prepper peeps. A uh, little bit different today. I know I didn't plan this. I didn't let you know. Um, I'm actually at a hotel in Portland. And a um, couple things. My morning was kind of crappy. My husband's truck got broken into. Um, and apparently Nikes are a thing in this town. So if you have Nikes in your car, that gives them free reign to just break in and grab them. Um, the funny thing is, joke's on you, Mr. Thief. Those Nikes were the old ones, the new ones were on our feet. So you got the old stinky ones that were gonna be used for yard work. So I hope you enjoyed them and I hope you really needed them that bad that you needed to break in. Anyway, I digress. So I'm putting on my balance, we're gonna have a good day. So the reason today, the reason I'm here today, I've got a little bit, I go into these prep groups that I'm in, I'm in a couple of them and I think I've got links up above and people are always asking what to do for this, that or the other. And I sometimes I'm afraid to answer because of the stigma that essential oils have, especially the bigger companies, because they are network marketing. And so people think, oh my gosh, it's a pyramid scheme. You can just go get your oils on Amazon. And I have to say, I understand that thought process because you guys don't know better, right? And when you know better, you do better. And that's my mission. Like I do this because yes, it supplements my family's income. And yes, someday my husband will be able to quit working unless something happens with the economy or something like that. But my goal and plan in the next five years is for my husband to quit working. But I share my love of oils and the reason I feel preppers need oils because I feel we need oils. Like that's why I started using oils was for preparedness. And so I get frustrated because I wish people could hear my heart when I say Melaleuca will help your ear infection or I use On Guard every day to keep me from getting sick so that when this person A has their son has an issue with their tonsils well in a grid down situation what would they do well we keep ourselves healthy by using oils and not to say that we don't get sick we do sometimes but when we do it doesn't last as long and it's not as bad so for me, that's part of my preparedness plan is staying healthy and then having a plan if we aren't healthy, if we get sick or something like that. So when I see people like, well, what kind of fish antibiotics should I stockpile? Seriously, I've got an oil for that and it's cheaper and it's safer and it's going to be more effective than your fish antibiotics. I wish I could just be able to come and sit down and have coffee with each and every one of you in your living rooms and share the reason why essential oils are something you should have in your prep plan. Will I say go to Amazon or go buy whatever brand? I won't because I don't trust those other brands as much as I trust the ones that I use. And I don't think that they're gonna be as effective. I don't think they're gonna last as long. And you really need something that's gonna be shelf stable. And doTERRA is the best brand for that. So I know that I keep preaching on and on about how, okay, this is a good reason to have this oil. This is a good reason to have this oil. And understand that if you do choose to get the oils, that you, I don't just throw you out there and be like, here's your oils. Thanks for buying. I'm glad you're my customer now. Goodbye. It's not like that. I have a gal, I've got two gals that have, have um, come to me in the last two months as a result of this group and you can ask them, I'm available at any moment that they have a question about their oils or what to use for this. Um, I really encourage you to, to get the books so that you can figure out on your own what oils to use because I might not always be around for Google, right? You need to learn and empower yourselves on getting the education, but I do help and I don't just send you on your way. But there's maybe a time where we can't get to a doctor. There may be a time where we have to stay in our houses for a long time because of some pandemic or something. And I really, honestly, from my heart, wish that you all had oils so that you wouldn't have to depend on other people for your health care. I am not saying if you break an arm or you get gun, a gunshot wound that you don't go to the doctor or the ER. I'm not saying that. But I am saying you can take care of your health without over-the-counter medications. And you can take care of your health without running to the doctor at the very first sniffle that you have. There's oils for these things. And everybody needs to have the oils so that they don't have to depend on the doctor for everything, or they don't have to depend on the, on the healthcare system. 
because sometimes I really feel going to the doctor could probably make you more sick because of the germs that are in that, that waiting room. So I'm off my little soapbox. I hope that you guys are hearing my heart and understanding where I'm coming from and that I truly, truly just want to help you and that I want you to have this education before you have to have it, right? Like get the oils in your home, learn how to use them, learn to have them be the first thing, first line of defense. Learn that when it's time for bed and you can't sleep and you need to shut your brain off, that you reach for that balance oil or you reach for that lavender oil. Or learn that if you get a scrape, I showed some pictures before and after of a gal that cut her finger, grab the correct X. Or learn to make your own salve that's got those same ingredients. These things can really help you and they can change your life. So I just hope that you guys understand where my heart is on that. Anyway, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, I hopefully mine will get better. Uh, and I'm just laughing that that thief has some old stinky tennis shoes and that he's probably pretty disappointed or she, who knows. And Portland, you're no longer my favorite city. So I hope you guys are doing great. If you have any questions, message me below or comment or whatever. I'm here for you. Talk to you later. Bye.